Our, for, our first order of business is, um, uh, Wayne, you, you have an introduction first. I'm sorry. I, I do. I'd like to introduce one, one of our new planners, Buford King. Uh, he's been here about three months. Buford's got a uh, long career in uh, municipal and county government, and we're happy to have him. And he'll be presenting the two cases tonight, but Buford's one of our new planners. And uh, again, been here about three months, and we're glad to have him. He's very, uh, very qualified and um, brings a wealth of knowledge and experience to us, which we're very fortunate to have. I want to appreciate that as well. Thank you. Thank you. Well, welcome. 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 Good to have you. Okay. Our first item is case number VOA 17.07. It's a public hearing to consider the request of Fairhope United Methodist Church for a special exception to allow a columbarium. The property is located at 155 South Section Street. And Chairman and members of the board, the recommendation is to approve uh, a brief background of the item before you. The a columbarium, and this is reflected in the staff recommendation, a columbarium is most similar to a cemetery, and that is an allowable use in this zoning classification. But the zoning classification requires that that type of use receive appeal to the Board of Adjustments. So uh, our staff recommendation is for approval uh, as an appropriate and allowable use for this location. Thank you. I would like at this time um, for the um, applicant to make a presentation, if present. Clay, if you'll state your name and address for us, thanks. My name is Clay Adams. Um, I'm with the Walcott Adams Brunel Architect. I live in Fairhope. Our firm is in Fairhope. I'm a member of um, First United Methodist Church also, and we've been doing the work there for probably the last 30 years, and there's been a master plan in the process. Um, we, I think we're on our fourth part of that master plan. This hadn't been talked about for that long, but it's been in the works for about five years. And we did speak with Jonathan early on, as we do always with the city, to try to make sure we were following uh, the rules and regulations of the city. But um, I'll be glad to answer any questions. Um, um, and I have uh, the first slide that comes up. Um, I guess y'all are seeing um, what I see on the screen there is the master plan of the church. Um, entire property again that's been that master plan has been approved for some 20 years um, most of those pieces have been built except the big new sanctuary where you see the error coming down from Bancroft but if you can see up in the uh, top uh, left corner uh, that's the columbarium um, design shown in in that corner right there and this is a large scale um, plan of it it nestles up against um, the um, current um, Shepherd's Place um, portion of the church that y'all may know about that's a function of our church. It's um, off the face of, the, um, um, of Section Street, pulled back a little bit. It uses a portion of our beautiful front lawn that's important to be preserved. It's not a lot different than some of the ones we've done. It's gonna have a beautiful uh, brick um, wall with wrought iron gates. Um, the walls will be about um, six feet tall. I'm not sure if y'all have this elevation, but um, lower than the scale of the one and a half story building. Um, it's gonna have a fountain in it. Um, we've nestled it around there to try to be um, quiet, uh, as quiet of a spot as we have on our church bordering two fairly busy streets and Fairhope, obviously, section in Morphe. Um, and we studied the location, and the church is very excited about it. We, ha we have simple, very simple um, wall vaults, um, and the church is not interested in doing a scatter garden, um, so most everything's going to be in a wall um, vault, and there's um, a master plan to probably do only maybe 400 at this time. Um, the brick is to match the church and the black wrought iron and some of the uh, imagery that's off the church with the um, with the Gothic um, German Gothic kind of in imagery of the church that we're maintaining. Are there any questions that are beyond that that I could answer? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. 
this time I'd like to open um, the meeting to public participation if there's anybody in the audience that would like to ask questions. Okay, we'll uh, close the public portion. Um, I'll open it now to the board for any discussion. I don't think so. Okay. We already have a couple of them in the city, so. The fact that it's not in the code, maybe you ought to get it put in the code. Right. I like to make a motion to approve BOA 17.07. All second. All in favor? <clears throat> Aye. 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 What's that? Yeah, yeah, I approve. Okay. Uh, uh, motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Our second order of business, BOA 17.08. It's a public hearing to consider the request of Henry and Ann Davis for a variance to the rear yard setback requirements for the principal structure. The property is located at 612 North Mobile Street. Uh, thank you for allowing me to appear again. Uh, the subject property uh, of this particular application, uh, two of its property lines intersect at a very sharp angle. And the characteristic of the property, by virtue of its sharp angle, with the two uh, property lines coinciding, when the setbacks of the current zoning district are applied, it creates a severely restricted building area. Uh, so the application and the application, and in your package, you'll notice there is a proposed an existing and proposed drawing showing the desired versus existing setback lines. <clears throat> um, what this will do is allow a much more reasonable, allow a much more reasonable and useful building area for the subject property. Uh, so therefore, it's staff's interpretation that the size and shape of the lot creates a uh, creates a hazard, or uh, more appropriately, creates a hardship for the applicant. So therefore, the uh, recommendation of staff is approved. Thank you. I would like the applicant at this time to make a presentation. <clears throat> I'm Trey Cordy, live at um, 101 Spring Park Drive here in Fairhope. The uh, owner of the property is out of town, so I think she got with Emily and gave me the uh, benefit of speaking for him. Um, the only thing, let me ask you this, this is kind of at the last second. Pensacola Avenue is an unimproved street, and the other, the other side of Pensacola Avenue is the huge gully. I don't know if anybody's familiar with it, but it's that, here's the subdivision, but it's, it's a huge gully right through here. Is there, since there's, an, there's no street on Pensacola Avenue at the time, it's all woods, and then as you continue uh, to the north, it's woods. Is there any way we can get that side set back at 10 feet rather than 20 feet? I think that the advertised variance was for 20 feet. So if you want 10 feet, we'll have to go back and re-advertise again. Otherwise, we'd be deficient in our advertising of this uh, variance. So because you can't exceed what was advertised. Well, and if we want to do that, what can I? Is there any way to? I would suggest get an you, opinion if if it's worth doing it or not. I would suggest if that's what you want to do, you ask for this meeting, this application to be tabled and have it re-advertised next month for the uh, for the 10 feet to so the 20 feet. And we'd have to, you know, obviously redo our staff report and review well, it again. Well, then never mind. Just forget that. Then. Just as. I mean, it can be done. but As requested. Then. They want to go ahead and get this done. Okay. So just forget my comment there. All right. Thank you. I'd like to open up the meeting to any public participation. Okay. I'd like to close the public participation and we'll open it up to the. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Okay. And I'm speaking oh, the mic. Okay, great. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm pretty much uh, the only house on that street. 
off of uh, Semin well, you come in on Seminole, and then it's Tinsaw. And then my street is right there directly to the right, which is Pensacola Avenue. And the street dead ends at my house. So I'm a little bit confused about where exactly this all is <coughs> and how it's going to impact my house and my plans for the house. Okay. It should, Does anyone it should know not that? have any impact. The right of way is city property, which is Pensacola Avenue. Okay. So you're not giving up anything or the house won't block any future roadway connection if that okay. ever happens. Is there some sort of master plan or something that I can see to look at other than this, like on paper perhaps? Because it, the street does come to my house. Is your house the next triangular shape piece of property? Yes, mine is mm. a triangle shape property. And it so, dead ends. Well, okay. and, and, and I was, that was, I mean, to follow up to the, the nice lady's question, that's, that was one of my questions, is there is a sign on this, pe are we approving a variance for a single family home, or what exactly are we approving? Because I, I, I went out and visited the property today, walked the property, and there's a sign out there that says Van Antwerp Park. Right. And oh. so my question, I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to, but it's on the parcel. Oh. But it's on that parcel. Yeah, and, and chairman, uh, chairman, and members of the board, uh, do, that's an excellent question. I'm glad we get a chance to clarify it here. Um, just to reiterate, Pensacola Avenue is an unopened right of way, an existing city right of way, toward on the west end, or the, actually more the northwest end of Pensacola Avenue, is totally unopened and still and still forested. Um, portion of the east end of Pensacola Avenue is a gravel two-track road, uh, which does access some properties. The subject property is not associated with the Van Antwerp project, which is pending. Uh, right. There is a potential okay. planning and zoning case on the Van Antwerp property, but this is a completely different property. It appears that they are conjoined because of Pensacola Avenue being unopened. So where is it? Is it on here in relation to my property? So in relation to the Van The other side on Mobile Street. That's correct. The Van Antwerp okay. project would be mm -hmm. northeast of yes. the subject property. Yes, I see. Is it possible I could have a copy of yes, this? Yes, Okay, great. So this is going to be essentially behind me, it looks like. It would be north. It would be generally northwest of you. Mm -hmm. this subject property mm -hmm. so they're requesting see this. I'm right here okay. and the driveway comes essentially right over this way I'm not sure about how is that yeah that's Pensacola Avenue but it dead ends at my house Correct. so I'm a little confused about so the this street section, itself this section is unopened unopened right. still forested but right. it is but the right of way does continue all the way to the northwest intersecting with Mobile Street. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not real clear about where it will, in that the street ends at my house, where does it divert to the, away from my house? <laughs> Man, we'd have to have a ground end? survey to know that exactly. Okay, so at what point will I know that? Well, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, that's a very good question. I think that probably at some point the applicant may produce a, the applicant may produce a, uh, a survey, a boundary survey of the mm -hmm. property, which would mark everything. Okay. And when, how can I find that out, or when will it be, will it be another public forum, or what? what well, we have this, done? Is, this is strictly for a setback variance. If there are mm -hmm. any future, if mm -hmm. there are any future requests for that property, mm -hmm. it will certainly become notified I, as I was it, this yes, time. If there's any future uses of the property that require action by this or the mm -hmm. Planning and Zoning Commission, mm -hmm. it absolutely is advertised and you would receive the same notification. Mm -hmm. and if I, could I can add, come to the, uh, excuse me. And if I could add to the Van Antwerp property, um, it'll, there'll be a separate public hearing for that in front of the Planning Commission. So that, that's, again, it's not a part of tonight's 
meeting and it's separate mm -hmm. from this completely but for those who are concerned there is there will be another public hearing for that property so I um, miss would not so be planning commission that is not the property that uh, we're referring to on Mobile Street no the, the property tonight is not associated with the Van Antwerp property okay okay that's correct okay so then could I have a copy of sure. that perhaps sure. that maybe that'll clarify yes ma'am see, see me after the meeting okay thank you appreciate it thank you okay. All. thank you thank you uh, I'd like to uh, close the public portion and open the staff portion of I was wondering if yeah. the property owner of the triangle lot also owns the lot 66 foot lot next door yes. on Mobile Street the same owner yes currently there is a house that sits on uh, the 60 foot six the 66 66 point three foot lot and it just sticks over into the triangle lot like five feet their intentions are they gonna tear that house down and build two houses is basically what's happening but it was it was part of the subdivision it's already two subdivided lots so um, if you go out there there is a house out there right now but that's gonna be gone so the green portion and the orange portion are two separate lots that you're referring to well are, oh, right there no the green is not the owner's property that's what i was talking no. about No. oh okay the green on that is not the owner's property that's a duplex i think that's just a different zoning that that's correct the the, the green parcel is one parcel of a different zoning classification so it so it stands out that's just uh how it's printed okay. when we extract this photo from our zoning map but that is a part that parcel is unrelated to this application okay so where is the property that he said they also own that's this line. well that's, that's this one well no it's not this is showing that as one oh as one two. lot okay i've got it okay thank you <laughs> thank you right there so the, vision. so the part he's talking about is the red and it's the triangle all red it's all two red. lots okay mm -hmm. got it And what are they going to build on this house house i'd like to have a motion i'll make motion to approve i'll second it all in favor aye aye, aye. 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 The motion carries unanimously thank you Uh, do we have any old or new business? We will have a meeting next month. I have two cases. August 21st. And do we have a motion to adjourn? So I moved. moved. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.